Pay for Morning is a monthly breakfast series كل سبت في الشهر غالبا يكون آخر سبت uh, We got this في مكان ويكون الثيم اختاروا هيد كوارترز في نيويورك اللي هو الفرع الأساسي لكريتيف مورنينجز الهدف من كريتيف مورنينجز مو بس التوك الهدف انه زي ما قبل شوية حصل انه كل الناس يتعرفوا على بعض وذي نتورك ويصير كل أحد عنده معارف ومجالات مرة كثير والكوميونيتي يكبر ويصير مترابط أكثر الثيم لهذا الشهر هو روتس بالعربي الجذور جربنا شيء جديد هذا الشهر اسمه فيل تريبس إننا نسوي رحلة خارجية برا التوب حق يوم السبت ويكون لي علاقة بالثيم فالثيم حقنا الروتس فوعد سجستد وعد اللي قاعد على الأرض قدام إنه سينس الروتس حق جدة هي البلد ليش ما نسوي فيل تريب للبلد إتوز مرة كانت ترتيب سريع بس إتوز أميزينج وعد هند التجدر في وقت مرة قياسي ورتبت كل شيء هنا عندنا جروب بيكتشر إحنا ذا ثيم وبارت اوف ذا ثيم طبعا واللي جو معانا للتريب We have a video by someone who attended. Um, he put together a video that shows um, his favorite parts of uh, the trip. Hi, Our tour guide Kanat Rahab Nizam al Din. You're going to find her account on our Instagram. She's not here with us today, but she's going to do some trips in the country. She's an amazing tour guide. Uh, the trip was very interesting because uh, we had a lot of foreigners with us and people who visited Saudi Arabia for the first time. And we were equally surprised by the amount of information they kind of had to tell us. We were the first time we heard it. So, 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 the so, 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 Please stand up. The one who did the video. This guy. Ahad here was here. Uh, so, Creative Mornings, as mentioned, it's all about networking. This is the Creative Mornings Manifesto, اللي هو the goals. You can find it on the website. Uh, and then our global sponsors, men in the headquarters in New York, they sponsor all chapters of Creative Mornings. Mail trip are responsible for the emails. If you want to the website, we will give you a monthly newsletter with a lot of interesting facts or um, articles. Command Snare is, um, is a new mail trip initiative that I suggest you all uh, take a look at. Or WordPress are also responsible for our uh, written information for our website. Um, uh, WordPress and the home, a new platform um, that gives tips to people who, are, who want to start writing or who want to improve their skills. And there are 211 uh, chapters of Creative Mornings for 67 countries with over 20,000 attendees per month who are online. After every talk, and, uh, talk it's uploaded on YouTube. We have over 7,994 talks online. Um, آخر, uh, آخر chapters that joined Creative Mornings, the last chapter from a nearby country is Oman, so it'll be Creative Mornings Muscat. And uh, here are our local sponsors, our Jeddah sponsors are Nestle, Kareem, and Jindawis for the music performance, and Mu'at al And our special sponsors, طبعاً, they joined us since last month, but they're mainly sponsoring our event today. Um, off the grind, the space we're at. Or silver spoon for the breakfast. Or Kareem for transportation. If you don't use your Kareem code, so you can use it. It's valid throughout the entire day. You can use it wherever you go. It's CM. It's on Instagram. Or 
واوف ذا جرايند اللي ما يعرف ايش هو عندنا محمد هيك قلت له سبيفلي ابوت وات اوف ذا جرايند از بس يعني بس عشان الناس يعرفوا ايش الفكره صباح الخير اهلا وسهلا فيكم بريف صغير عن اوف ذا جرايند وي ار سبيشاليتي كوفي لاونج That can, that also deals with uh, virtual reality uh, gaming and uh, content development, as well as uh, event management. And uh, we are an ongoing art gallery. Uh, we we're also um, making the place a hub for the creative mind. The only mojo is So from our engagements and um, our activities and the. Uh, The design of the place uh, allows Alta Brand to be a playground for the creative mind. And welcome. Thank you. Come on, and you might end up on accounts for the website. Who has an account on the Creative Mind website? You should have an account for the tickets. Um, so I suggest that you all update your profiles and start using the same as you used Twitter or Facebook previously and Instagram. It's a great platform for connecting. Or come on, be a creative guild. It's like LinkedIn but for creatives. You can find opportunities. Um, can you find? What do you mean? Online opportunities. Oh, come on. Yeah. I recommend that you all keep updating your profiles to get internships abroad to come on other. Okay, so this is the link you should use to edit your profile. I don't think it can get any easier. Um, and then our musician Leon and Saf, we're gonna enjoy the music downstairs by the talk. And for the speaker, um, it was a per- it is a perfect opportunity for us to tune in Leon. Mean hats for resolutions and they want to lose weight or become healthier. Bus. الثلاث بيروح. طيب my speaker اليوم is a professor of uh, biomedical engineering and physics, صح؟ and uh, she's the first certified wild fit coach and uh, she's gonna introduce the lifestyle programs to us today. Please welcome Dr. Sara Tahiti. Okay, both. Okay, good morning. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'm very grateful to be speaking to Jeddah's creative minds. Uh, before I start, I want you to turn to the person next to you and introduce yourself as a healthy, energetic human being. Today, okay, so today we're talking about our roots. We're going back to beginnings. Every species on this planet. Okay. And human beings are no exception. And when I talk about a diet, I'm not... I do not mean a temporary modification to how you live to be able to reach a specific goal for a short period of time. I'm talking about what we were created to eat, what our digestive system can handle, what our body would find fuel to create happy, healthy cells. So, is there such a thing? Is there a human diet? What do you think? No? Okay, so, thank you for that. I'll give you a brief story about the elephants. So, 200 centuries ago, elephants were used for entertainment and shows and circuses and zoos. And the investor, the businessman, was very upset because these elephants in captivity only lasted around six years. Meanwhile, when they did the research, they found that elephants live 70 years. 
So when they replicated what this beast or this creature ate in the wild, the results were fascinating. They actually lived 70 years. So the same goes to us. Also, I want to add that each species has its own diet. I mean, I cannot feed elephants what lions or dogs are supposed to eat. And humans are no exception. I cannot survive on the diet of birds or cats. Okay? So how do we know that this is the perfect diet for humans? Well, it will simply result in you experiencing the best potential that this body that you are in, that you are living in, has. It, you would live longer, you'd be extremely energetic, and your body is going to take you far. You will be able to go to all the magnificent places you want to experience in life. So let me ask you this question. Some of you won't be happy. Do you think the food industry wants you to be healthy? Wow. <laughs> so this multi-billion dollar industry, okay, versus your health. Now, they want you to buy, they want you to consume, they want you to eat to maximize their profits. And how do they do that? One word. Yes, unfortunately. We love it. We have a sweet tooth to it. Well, guess what? They have planned it years and years ago. Okay, so sugar, when added to anything we consume, from breakfast cereals that we think are extremely a healthy breakfast alternative, to, to anything around you. So what happens when you consume sugar? Your insulin level rises, okay, and your body is very energetic, and you use this energy to perform your regular tasks. The problem is, once the insulin level goes down, you're extremely tired, and you need more. So you go, open the fridge, or order takeaway, and get something else that would raise and give you the spike in insulin to be able to perform all your tasks. And the problem with this cycle of empty and fueling and emptying and fueling is that you're going to be tired probably around the afternoon. And you'll need that nap. You'll be tired by the end of the day. You will not go to bed when, until this fuel is completely gone. Now, this ingredient is so powerful that it's really addictive. And research show that being addicted to sugar is easier and more common than being addicted to cocaine. Okay? Another interesting fact about sugar, so many of us might reach their ideal weight, but they always say that we have fat stored in areas we're not happy with. I always, you know, manage to lose and get to the, the target I want, but there's always an area that's bothering me. Well, dears, this is because sugar is always stored in the body as fat, okay? So, companies found this trick hundreds of years ago, and they've put a huge amount of sugars in what you eat, but the trick was they hid it in different names. It's not S-U-G-A-R, it's other items. And these products are in everything you consume daily. Yes, I know, we all want a donut or a chocolate cake or a piece of chocolate, but I'm not talking about the obvious. When you treat your body with a piece of dessert, I'm talking about products that are not supposed to have sugar, okay? So why did they do that? Well, simply, as you can see, Supermarket aisles need to, need to empty, okay? Every city has hundreds of supermarkets and products are just on the shelf and these have to go, okay? There are expiry dates and they have to sell them. So the only way to do that is to keep hiding these S-U-G-A-R under different names for you to think that they don't include sugar and you end up buying them. 
So the problem with that is that we probably eat two to three times a day, maybe five times a day, but guess what? We're all experiencing hunger. We are as hungry as anyone in Africa. Yeah? We're full, but we are nutritionally hungry. What we consume is empty food. They have no nutritional value. And your body keeps signaling, I'm hungry. And you go back and grab that sandwich. I'm hungry. And you go and grab that pizza. Okay? So what's happening? The body keeps signaling, by the way, everything you're consuming has been prepared in labs. Flavors, sweeteners, colors. So at the end, the body is going to use the fuel you're giving it, regardless what it is, even if it was wood. The body, this magnificent machine, will use the wood, what you give it, that has been prepared in labs, to create you. It will create you. It will create your bones, muscles, cells, fibers, hair, from what you give it. It needs to create for you to grow, repair, and fix things. Let me ask you another question. Do you think your food can make you sick? Yes. Amazing. That's why I'm with the creatives. So, yes, unfortunately, there's a lot of evidence that so many diseases today are a result of what we put in our mouth. Okay? Um, and we are seeing... I, I work in a hospital, by the way. I'm not a physician, but I'm an associate professor in the Department of Radiology, and I'm telling you, the diseases that we used to see in 40 and 50 year olds, unfortunately, we're seeing them in teens. Okay? And that goes back to how they eat and what parents let them consume. So, not only allergies and um, diabetes at a young age, but doctors are faced today with diseases that are extremely weird. New names, new symptoms, nobody knows how to cure. And all this goes back to our food choices what has been placed in our food, and so many of it we can't even read. If, if you attempt to look at the ingredients, so many items you won't even understand what that means. Right? Okay, there are so many E's that we don't know what coding has, have they used to, be, to, to put in our food. So, another thing, are, are there any physicians in the room? Okay. With all respect to physicians, my husband is one of them, doctors are not taught about food. If you look at medical school curricula, it does not include anything about food. Some schools do. For example, Harvard Medical School published recently that food and poor nutrition is the number one cause of death in the U.S. alone. Meanwhile, their school only teaches 19 hours about nutrition. So, now, I don't know about you, but would you take your car to a mechanic that doesn't know anything about oil and fuel? Okay. So, do you think the sugar industry is manipulating you? Totally, amazing. So, it's always you feel that there's, you're missing out. There's something new you did not try. There's this new Instagram account with cookies, my God, I did not have, okay? And how do they do that? They market for your emotions. The food that makes you feel good. They create this attachment, especially in kids. They feel that they want that. That looks amazing, it looks fun. So marketing for your emotions is what ended up most of people who struggle with weight, they, their relationship with food needs to be addressed psychologically because food is the go-to item when you want to feel happy. Going out in the Middle East requires food. If you're not eating, if you're not at your family's house eating, what's the fun? Okay? The other reason for manipulating you is they complicated the labels. Like I said, we don't know what's in that label, just eat it. 
as if our bodies are the garbage disposals that will handle all these ingredients that were created in Laos. And the trick is that they say there are no added sugars. So you trust. We all trust. Well, they can't do that. There's no added sugar, so there is no sugar. This is an example that I keep seeing everywhere, and this is a picture I took myself. Big zero sugar on the, on the label. It's in the sugar-free aisle at the supermarket. Okay. Number two ingredient, and if you know a little bit about ingredients, they will be arranged in descending order, yeah? So number one and two would be the biggest quantity in the item, and the last would be the least quantity. So if number two ingredient is a syrup, that's not a sugar. Okay, it's not S-U-G-A-R, but it's sugar. It will cause your body to raise its insulin, it will give you the same symptoms. Your energy is going to rise, you're going to do your thing, you're going to go to work or you're going to go to school. And then an hour later, gone, I need more sugar. And the addiction is there. You're in the cycle. It's still going to store fat and it's still going to make you hungry. So there are 65 names of sugar identified by Wildfit. If you guys want it, unfor unfortunately I did not put them all here, you can send us an email or WhatsApp us, and we'll give you the booklet that includes these 65 names. But I just want to share some of them. So many people believe that brown sugar is not sugar. No, it's not sugar. Well, it's caramelized sugar to give it that brown look. Molasses. Dips Roman, wow, it's healthy, it's Roman. Okay, it is a lot of sugar. Okay, might as well just have the white sugar. Uh, xylitol, all the gum that says sugar free includes xylitol, saccharin, syrups, malts, dextrose, fructose, sucrose. If you look at the ingredients and find these names, then guess what? You're in the loop, you're in the cycle. Hungry? eating more, buying, ordering delivery in the middle of the night, because what you consume includes these names. I know some people want to go down and have that coffee with the donut or the cupcake. That's fine. Okay, that's really fine. But what I want you to be aware of today is just become more mindful of what you put in your mouth. If you think that I've been dieting all week and I'm just going to treat myself to that piece of cake this weekend, and you think that's the only sugar you had, you're mistaken. Okay? So many people like to treat themselves once a week. I worked out so hard in the gym, I deserve a treat. That's perfectly fine. But I just want you to open your eyes and see that everything you've been consuming has a lot of sugar in it. It's not that treat, it's not the ice cream or chocolate that you had, it's everything else. So, where can I start? Well, the obvious, the ones that I just identified, the desserts, labeled desserts, or the not so obvious, sauces, dressings, pasta sauce, why would pasta sauce include sugar? Yogurts that are not plain, they include sugar. Cereals, granola bars. You think you're doing yourself a favor by grabbing that bar in the morning? Just read the ingredients. I assure you, they will all have sugar. It's labeled healthy. It might be labeled organic. It has a lot of sugar. Now, my favorite was the, the smoked meats and smoked salmon. Why would smoked salmon have sugar in it, okay? If one, if one of you finds smoked salmon that does not have sugar, I'll give you a free membership in WildFit. There isn't. Norwegian, imported, local smoked salmon has sugar in it. Okay, so you're not convinced. I'm just, you know, annoying you this morning. What are we going to eat? Well. To prove my, what I'm saying, 
the Ministry of Health and the Saudi FDA in 2019 were extremely active because the, the Saudi population is sick. Okay? We have an announcement by the Minister of Health at the beginning of 2019. Eight people get amputated every single day because their diabetes is not under control from what they eat. The Saudi FDA started a huge campaign against sugar, and guess what? They did not just write S-U-G-A-R. They included the other names. Okay? So sugar is no longer an item that can be added to your fruit juices. Not only that, there's a tax. Did anybody here hear about this tax? There's a 50% tax on drinks that include sugar. So yes, it's like tobacco. It didn't stop people from smoking, but at least it's an indication that if you are going to have it, you have to know what your choice is going to lead to. And I'm sorry these are in Arabic, but for the non-Arabic speakers, this basically includes all the types of sugar that are used to make um, drinks sweeter. So they mention maltose, honey, lactose, uh, syrups. Okay, so it's not only sugar. Okay, so we get you. Just talk about something else. We don't want to hear about sugar. What else? What else is in the human diet? Well, the human diet thousands of years ago included seasonality or cycling that we no longer have. There are months where, or seasons, where fruits would be available in abundance, and months where there are no fruits. There are months where honey would be found in nature, and so many other months, no beehives would be found. Now, today, what we do is we insist on having that date 365 days a year, right? So many people don't stop having a spoon of honey every morning because it's healthy for them. Well, seasonality means I'm on fruit for a couple of months or a couple of weeks. I stop fruit for a couple of weeks. I consume honey for a little bit. I stop consuming honey for a little bit. Your body needs to rest. I remember my grandmother a long time ago would tell me, Spinach? No, we can't. There's no spinach now. Can we say that today? You can buy anything you want from the supermarket, 365 days a year, right? So the human diet included seasonality, meaning there were breaks from things. You would consume fruits and you would stop consuming fruits. You would consume sweet items and you would stop doing that. So, I have another question for you. I want you to consider your relationship with food. Are you free when it comes to food? No? Hey, I thought freedom means I can eat anything I want. It's one lifetime. I'm free. So many people I talk to, so many clients, before they join us, they think, well, listen, freedom is I eat anything I want. I'm only living once. But is this freedom? The food is in control, yes. So can you know that there's pizza at home and not have it? Can you see your friends eating your favorite dessert and choose not to have it? Okay, it's hard. So can you look at food and, and decide, this is what I want my body to use to create my cells, tissues, bones, and muscles, and not the other items, I think that's a free person. A free person has a choice, exactly. A free person has the will to decide, is this loving for my body or not? Okay, and we as humans need the value of freedom, and unfortunately we're using it mainly with food. Even kids growing up, they feel We all need freedom, and if you don't have freedom as a value, you're going to end up, you know, in a lot of circles in your life to achieve freedom. And the only thing we can, a 
apply freedom to with ease is our foods for some reason. We think that we're free to eat, but it's the opposite. We are imprisoned because I just couldn't go to their cake that everybody is having and I can't have. No, I need to have a piece. My diet can start tomorrow. So I want you to close your eyes for a second. Relax your shoulders. Close your eyes. Relax those shoulders. I want you to imagine your ideal self. I want you to imagine your body with no health limitations. I want you to imagine the body that you'd like to have 10 kilograms less, extremely active, active and alive. You stopped smoking. How would it feel? How would that affect your family and your kids? Okay, you can open your eyes. So why aren't we there? We all feel good when we experience a healthy body with no limitations, without addictions, and we know how to create the feeling. But why aren't we there? Because you're not on your priority list. We're waiting for something to happen to go through that change. We're waiting for something to happen to get on our priority list. Some people are not even there. Well, luckily if you're number five or six, but so many people are not even on that list. Life is happening to them. Work, family, obligations, stress, political situation, the environment is creating your life. So where can we start? Where can we start? Number one, stop treating your body like a rent-a-car. You know when you're on vacations, you rent a car and you just abuse it. But guess what? I'm giving it back to the company and going home to my car. Your body is not like that. You only have one body. And if you treat it like a rent a car, it's going to fire back. Number two, start reading those labels, please. Understand them. Find a way. I mean, Google's with all of you all the time. Just ask Google, what is E205? And then decide if you want to put that in your mouth. Because basically, what you put in your mouth today creates your health tomorrow. If it's somebody that's going to get pregnant, definitely. Your, your body is going to pass on what you eat to the child that's being developed in your body. Okay? Um, like I said, be that person in restaurants. Don't be scared. Go and demand to know what's in your meal. I promise you, it's one difficult time. We all don't want to be that person that has demands and has nutritional needs. One time, you just request something and it will be made for you. And honestly, from my experience, unless you're going to Japanese or uh, like a fusion restaurant, they can always create what you want. And chefs are really bored. They're sitting in, in that kitchen just preparing the same old thing every single day. They like to be challenged when you tell them, I need something without, without, without. It will be created for you, I assure you. That's what we've, see, we've seen with a lot of our clients. So before you remove the junk, please, you've already heard about sugar, and I know most of you will go today and just throw everything in the cabinet. No more sugar in my life. Don't do that. Don't do that. Your bodies are not ready. You are still nutritionally hungry. The only way you can do that is when you get more of the good stuff in. Okay, so overcrowd with the good stuff before you think about removing the junk. When I say overcrowd, I mean it. God has created over 200 types of fruits and vegetables. How many do you eat? 
Honestly. Anybody here can reach up to 20 types a day? No, nobody? 20 types a day? Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's excellent. I mean, there are so many kids today that decide not to have vegetables and their families are, are okay with it. So overcrowd your, what you eat today with fruits and vegetables. If it's not possible to eat 20 types, juice them. Blend them and just honestly just bring it in. You like it? I, don't, I wanted to say something else, but basically just have it. It's medicine. Okay, so overcrowd with the good stuff before thinking of removing the sugar and the junk. The other thing is, once you are nutritionally at a, you know, a very good nutritional level and you're hydrated very well, getting rid of the junk will be extremely easy. So don't attempt to try to remove because it will backfire at you. So lastly, how can we impact the food industry? Okay, so many people come back to us and say, but there aren't any items we can eat. There's nothing I can eat. Everything has this junk in it. For them to change, you have to change. Okay, when you change, guess what? They will create things for you to pay for. And that's how organic, gluten-free and the artificial sugar-free became available in the market. You're ready to pay for it. Your money had made them create these alternatives. And this is what's happening today with the Saudi government standing against sugar. The, these companies are finding ways to create items without the sugars that were banned. So they want your money, they will create it for you. The second thing you can do is find a community. Find a community of people that put their health first. Get together and try to find entertainment in something not related to food. Try to treat yourself from now on with something that's not food related. Okay? When you do something good and you want to say, you know, well done, don't eat. Do something different. Take a vacation, get a massage. See friends that you haven't seen for, for a long time and connect. Do something creative, but do not put something in your mouth that you will regret tomorrow. Thank you. That was... Thank you for giving us the sugar spotting technique. Uh, you haven't spoke about dark chocolate. How much sugar does dark chocolate have or what kind of sugar is in it? So uh, my husband is a very big fan of uh, dark chocolate and he tries to decrease the amount of sugar. Even the 99%, which honestly tastes like wood, has sugar. So how much varies on how dark it is. So the 99 will obviously have less than the 70% or the 65%, but it still has sugar in it. Uh, first of all, thank you for the great speech. And uh, I'd like to ask about Stevia. What do you think about that? Stevia is one of the 65 names. Okay, so regardless how they convinced us that there's something called healthy sugar, natural sugar. Guys, it's still sugar. Okay, so stevia, uh, xylitol, there are a couple of more that claim that they are natural sugars. They would all do the same thing. They would raise your insulin level, they would create the hunger cycle, and they would store fat in areas that you obviously don't want. The best alternative to sugar. Okay, did you hear that? What's the best alternative to sugar? Nothing. The human diet did not include sugar. It included honey occasionally. Okay? It included maple syrup from the tree when it was available. 
No human ate sugar in the quantities we eat today. And that really ruined our taste buds. When our clients do the 90 day challenge and stop sugar at some point, even sugar from fruits, they claim that cucumber, lettuce, are sweet, extremely sweet. So what, how did that happen? Because our taste buds got normalized with the amount of sugar we have every day. So when sugar is removed, yes, it's a disaster for some of us, but when you live without sugar for, for a while, the greens, those leafy green vegetables, become sweet. Excuse me? Excuse me? Hello? Thank you very much. Uh, based on uh, what uh, you told us today, we should only drink water. <laughs> Why? What happened to the 200 types of fruits and vegetables? Because, because everything has sugar. And even vegetables, it's all chemicals. Even the vegetables here, it's not good. Okay, well... So I only should drink water? Or? No. I mean, water is a very good uh, choice, yes. Water is really good for you. And uh, just to give you a tip, we need 5% of our body weight in water. Okay, so just to give you that. But vegetables, yes, they have chemicals, but don't you wash them at home? Don't you put them in water and vinegar for like an hour before you consume them? I drink raw vegetables every morning and nothing's wrong with my body. So they like, the, the industry likes to blame bananas and likes to blame vegetables for being chemically altered or GMO'd. But guess what? Even if you end up consuming vegetables, with these chemicals on them, it's much better than consuming sugar, okay? And I know how it feels. I was there. I know how it feels when you feel that everything has sugar in it. If there is a will, there is a way. If you decide and you start spotting sugar in everything and you are fully nourished, you're fully hydrated, you'll find that you can easily leave this item behind. Not now. When vegetables and fruits are filling your body, when you're very well nourished, when your skin looks different, when people look at you and say, you look 10 years younger, what did you do? You simply removed sugar. Thank you. Um, we have the last question here. If anyone has any questions, they could go ahead and ask the speaker afterwards. So, thank you so much for your talk. I'm interested in um, a bit more of uh, your personal narrative. When did you reach this health consciousness uh, in your own life? Was it through your research? If you could briefly tell us a little bit about that. Thank you for that question. Well, I'm a living example of truth. Okay? I'm, I struggled for 15 years. I'm not a physician, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm a medical physicist and a biomedical engineer. And I had uh, thyroid problems and we're programmed that your thyroid will never make you lose weight. You're, you will always be the person that struggles with weight. Now, I did struggle with weight. I have gained 26 kilograms. I'm still in my journey. I mean, I got certified with WildFit a year ago. It took me six months to get the certificate. And the reason for me finding WildFit, you know, everything happens for a reason. Nothing is by coincidence. I was taking a course called Lifebook through Mind Valley, if anybody knows it. And in, my, in Lifebook, I realized that the chapter of my health is the worst chapter, the one that I do not put any effort in, and it's impacting all my life, I like it or not. Okay? So there was something in me that said, I have to do something about it. And I had tried every single diet there is. I put two gastric balloons. I, the only thing was, that was left was surgery. Okay? And I did make an appointment, and I was going for that. And through my rally, again, something called Wildfit popped up, and it was starting next week. And I felt, okay, this is it. If this doesn't work, I'm going to the doctor's appointment. 90 days later, I lost 8 kilos. For some of you, 8 kilos is nothing. And I, my journey still has, you know, 
a couple of more, but the way I felt, the freedom I reached when, when I see food, it no longer controls me, and I'm an emotional eater. I'm stressed, I eat, I'm happy, I eat. Okay? So when Whitefoot gave me this freedom, I said, wait a minute, I want this for my parents, I want this for my family, I want this for my friends, they have to try this. And when I was offered to get certified, I just made, made the investment. Now, the other thing that Wildfit did for me, I'm not sure if it's Wildfit or my meditation, but my thyroid started working. Okay, so from the doses, the dosage that I have been taking for 15 years, I had dropped that dose 50%. So I felt that there's something real here. And again, I'm not harming myself. On the contrary, what, I, what I'm doing with eating this way is probably improving my health. So that's So here you can subscribe to the information, the website, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Uh, thank you all for coming and listening. Well, thank you to our speaker for shocking us with the information. One question: Any honey wine? Not all. Any one? Oh, I had this for Salah. Even when I tried to do it. So you can go ahead and ask uh, the speaker questions, you can find her on Instagram. Or oh, other than that, we're going to have the musician downstairs. Please stay, let him show. Um, meet the people you didn't meet. Creative um, Morning is all about connecting and networking. Akhtar man ma huwa ay shaytani. Khamas Arabi, I'm going to show you all of it. But yeah, so thank you for coming.